The Waves Bridge is exactly what the name says. It's really a 64 channel protocol converter, so you can go between Dante and Waves or Waves and Dante. So if you want to clock off your Dante module, you'd put it here in the A position, or if you want to clock off of Waves in your LV1, you could put it in the B position. Everything's firmware related and software related. It's a one RU chassis. Okay, we have redundant power supplies. The beauty of the thing is that you you can actually hook up through your networks. Dante, of course, we have two outputs. We have two RJ45 outputs, and of course, and then there are waves output. This guy will do 64 channels into 48K. One thing you need to be aware of is because of the limitations with Dante and the way they work, if you go to 96K, Dante can only do 32 channels. However, I can tell you that coming up in the future we will have a workaround to that we don't have it yet the neat thing also about the bridge is say you've got a Matty system you can actually swap the Dante card for a Matty card and go Matty to waves or waves to Matty of course it is standard uh, with a coax all you have to do is get an, uh, an FSP module slide it in and you've got optical fiber and it's it works great. The one thing you cannot do with the bridge as it stands, and we get this question a lot, you cannot have the Dante, the Matty, and the Waves card at the same time. This is a two input system, so with Dante or Matty, it's either or. We get a lot of questions on this guy. Why are there two empty slots? Well, the two empty slots are for some accessories. Say that you uh, have a limited rack space and you've got your waves card here, but you need a wave switch. You need to be able to get your waves network out to everything else. Well, basically, you can take one of our network cards. Now, you have to ask us about this. We can actually modify it slightly so that it would slide in here and you literally have an eight port waves network switch to go anywhere, do whatever you want to do, or you could do it with Dante. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's say that you're in a situation where you gotta have some outputs. You've gotta be able to get uh, some analog outputs so you can monitor them, whether it's all the stage hands, the producers, whatever. What you can do is get one of our analog output cards. The neat thing is, say you need to get eight channels of Dante, all the vocalists. You slide the card in this slot and via jumpers, you can select what bank of eight channels you need to monitor. That's another option, it's really cool. It's a wonderful product. Uh, Waves has sold a whole bunch of these things. Get with those great guys. You can get all your plugins, go to Dante back and forth, and uh, they'll be able to help you out. It's mostly live, the, the, uh, especially concerts, things like that. It's a great way to get all the good plugins and actually send it back to the Dante system for all the, the Dante controlled speaker systems and amplifiers and everything else. But a lot of guys will actually use it uh, with the, the Waves card as the leader. In other words, they're taking their LV1 going to Waves doing all their processing, doing the whole nine yards, and then just sending it back out via Dante to go the other way.